everyone, Alexa here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Clearly Filtered Water Pitcher, showing you how to set it up and talking to you about the pros and cons of this particular water pitcher. So this water pitcher is one of the nicest ones on the market. You may have already noticed that doing your research. It's also one of the priciest. It is the number one pitcher because it is NSF tested to remove the most contaminants in tap or well water. So it's going to be your cleanest, healthiest water available. So this water pitcher is $90. It can hold 10 cups of water or 80 ounces, and it holds about 100 gallons of water per filter cartridge, which is estimated to last about four months. On average, that will cost you about $150 per year to keep these, this water filter up. It's it's made of BPA-free plastic, which of course I think is necessary for any item that you're going to be consuming on the daily basis. You really want to make sure something as big as water is going to be the cleanest, safest, and the container has to be BPA-free. So it is tested to remove more than 365 contaminants in our normal water supply. Now that is way more than most water filters on the market do remove. There's a full list of contaminants that this filter removes on the Clearly Filtered website, but I'll give you a few of the popular ones that you probably wanna know about. First of all, chlorine, it removes 99.5% of chlorine, 99.7% of chloramine, 99.3% of heavy metals like lead, 97.8% of chromium, 98.3% of arsenic, 99.9% .9 of various pharmaceuticals, above 99% of pesticides and herbicides, 99.9% .9 of BPA, 99.9% .9 of microplastic, and about 995 to 99.9% .9 of volatile organic compounds, PFOs, fluoride, bacteria like E. coli, other microorganisms, viruses. All of this is tested by an independent and accredited third-party lab against official standards. So it's nice to know that the website has a list of all the testing that's occurred and you can really see clearly what this water filter filters out. This pitcher does remove fluoride, which I know is a huge deal for a lot of people. A lot of pitchers don't remove fluoride, which can be dangerous to your health. If you are brand new to the world of water filters entirely, most standard carbon filters remove about five contaminants and this one removes 365. So it just really outbeats most uh, water filters in that way. Now, one thing to know about this filter is that healthy minerals like calcium are not filtered out. So if you are looking for a filter that keeps something like that in, this would work for calcium. So when purchasing this filter, you do get a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, you have 30 days to fully get your money back. And the nice thing about this company is they do provide a lifetime warranty. So if the filter breaks, Clearly Filtered will send you a replacement. So the filter uses something called an affinity filtration system. How it works is first there's a dynamic physical structure. There's a maze-like interior of filters that require water to pass through twists and turns to give the filter more time to extract contaminants. That alone means superior performance. Then there's a potent contaminant magnet, and it's a precise and powerful collection of unique medias that the filter separates the good and the bad. They identify and bond to dangerous contaminants while intentionally letting natural minerals and nutrients pass through. So here is the filtration component. On the top, you have a woven mesh screen. This keeps larger particles from entering the filter. In the middle, you have granulated coconut carbon, which eliminates odors and bad tastes. On the outside is a composite shell, and this layer captures chemicals, toxins, and metals, which prevents them from entering the water. When you buy the water pitcher, it comes with one filter, and your filter must be primed before your first use, and then it must be replaced regularly. You can also subscribe for filter replacements, and they will be mailed to you at the same time each, you know, every few months. But for 10% off when you're gonna be drinking the water, consistently for probably years to come is a pretty good deal. So the EPA regulates less than 100 tap water contaminants, and clearly filtered regulates 365 contaminants and counting. They test them at three to times the legal limit when a limit exists and guarantees performance in all conditions. I'm reading from this nice booklet that came in the box. They also keep an eye on unregulated and emerging contaminants. When a new or emerging contaminant is discovered, they look to test the filters and share the results on the website. So if you look at the website, it's very transparent with what their testing is showing and the latest data. The contaminants that they target to remove can be linked from everything to cancer, thyroid conditions, bone disease, liver, kidney, and reproductive problems. You want healthy water so that you have a healthy life. The lifetime warranty is also very popular with this product. If the item is defective due to faulty workmanship or materials, it's eligible for replacement. 
If it's damaged through unconventional use, they'll replace it for half the current retail price plus tax. So with all of that said, let's get to unboxing the water filter. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and walk you through the whole thing. Because you're watching this review video, you can also use a discount code for this filter for 15% off your first purchase. I will leave it in the description below. So first we're going to prime the water filter. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you must do this before you use the filter for the first time. Remove the blue protective sticker covering the filter's intake holes. Ensure the rubber gasket stays in place on the filter when twisting the filter onto the disc. Flip the priming bag upside down so the priming disc is facing the faucet. Hold the disc down below the faucet, then turn the cold water on gradually until a steady stream of cool water flows through the disc's hole into the bag. Run the water until the bag is full. Once the bag is full, twist the threaded base of the filter flat side onto the disc until snug to create a seal between the two. Hold the bag over the sink, then forcefully squeeze it with both hands to force the water inside down through the filter. Squeeze hard enough to see water dripping out of the bottom of the filter. Use the same amount of pressure as you would to force the last few drops of toothpaste out of a toothpaste tube. Continue to squeeze the bag until empty. It's normal for water to escape from the edges of the priming disc and spill over the edges of the filter where the two components connect. Repeat this process two or three times. Once again, refill the bag, then squeeze the water in the bag throughout the filter. Next, we're going to connect the filter to the reservoir. Remove the back lid from the reservoir and then pull out the reservoir. Twist the filter onto the threaded base of the reservoir. Place the filter and reservoir into the pitcher body. Fill the reservoir with cold or room temperature tap water. Slide the back lid on the top of the reservoir until it clicks into place and enjoy the clean and safe water. So a few other tips. I'm just reading from the guide here about this filter. It's built for cold tap water only. Do not filter hot water. Superior filtration does take time. A full reservoir of water can take up to 35 minutes to filter. This means your filter is doing its job to make sure every drop is as clean as possible. Never wash your filter with soap. However, your pitcher body can be hand washed with soap and water regularly. Go to clearlyfiltered.com slash pitcher filters to get replacement filters and learn more about the free filter subscription service. Always store the priming bag and in any unused filters in a cool and dry location. Okay, so let's talk about some of the cons of the clearly filtered water filter. For most people, this will just be the price. $90 for a water filter is pretty high. You can definitely find them cheaper on the market. However, like I said, this one removes the most contaminants out of the water out of all those other ones. So if you're willing to pay the price tag, you are gonna get a better water from this filter. Superior filtration does take time. A full reservoir of water can take up to 35 minutes to filter. And a longer contact time between water and filter media often means more thorough filtration. So the filtration that takes a bit longer isn't necessarily a bad thing. So if you're looking for water that just goes through the filter faster, this might not be the best pick for you. But like I said, it may not be a bad thing because it, it has several layers of filtration to go through. So that's why it might take longer. I don't see it as an issue when we're using it. It just seems like a normal amount of time to me. And another con is there's no actual NSF certification, if that's what you're looking for. There's only testing. So you are relying and trusting the company that they are in fact testing and reporting accurately on their website, which we have every reason to believe that they are. Another nice thing about Clearly Filtered is they have other products. They have a filtered water bottle. They've got an under the sink filter, a fridge filter, and a few others on the website. Okay, I'm coming back in this video a little while later now that we have tried this water filter for a while and I want to give you my review. The water tastes really good, which is a huge point for this water pitcher. I know other ones on the market don't change the taste of your water as much, and this one tastes really, really great. It's very clean and light tasting. I do notice the difference between this tasting water and other filters that I've tried before. So very, very tasty. I also like the look of the filter. It's very clean, very nice to see on the countertop. I like to keep things aesthetically pleasing if I can in the kitchen. The only thing that did not go well when I first set this pitcher up was when I poured the water out, it kind of spilled through the cracks of the pitcher when I was trying to pour the water out. And I think this was just because the little flap on the spout wasn't open yet. It was my first time pouring it. Once I got through that, that never happened again. So it now pours very well. It doesn't leak when I pour it and I don't have to put my hand on the top. I haven't had the top fly open. I don't know if it had to happen before where you try to pour a water pitcher and the top falls open because the water pressure is on it. That has not happened with this filter yet, so it's very easy to pour, except for that first time when I think it was just loosening up a little bit. I also know that some people said that the filtration time took a long time, and I really didn't notice that. I don't know if I'm just a busy mom, but I put the water in and I get plenty of water out of it before I have to refill it, and it hasn't really held us up, so I haven't noticed it taking 
too long or not holding enough water. It's been perfect for our small family. So after setting up the pitcher and using it for a while, we really like this pitcher and I've even showed it to my family members and they have tried it and they've really liked it as well. It tastes really, really good. It pours easily. It was easy to set up and I like how it looks on the counter. So it gets five stars in my book as far as water pitchers go. Okay, well that concludes this clearly filtered water pitcher review. I hope this was helpful in terms of setting up the pitcher and getting to know what contaminants it filters out, why you would spend the money on this pitcher, and help you decide what water filter is best for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. You can also check out the company website. They have an FAQ section and a support team available to help you if you need it because I'm sure there's something I missed in this video. And in case I didn't cover everything, you can leave a question in the comment section below. All right, I will see you in the next video.